Ghostbusters versus the real Ghostbusters. The Real Ghostbusters aired on September 13, 1986. Just a week after the Filmation Ghostbusters cartoon aired. This version of Ghostbusters animated cartoon was based off the movie so more people knew about the characters before even watching this show most kids that watch this show their favorite character was Slimer and there he is on the screen right there This show ran for seven seasons, 173 episodes. That's even including the Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters spin-off episodes too. They even came out with another one in the 90s called the Extreme Ghostbusters, but we'll get into that some other time. Movie accurate. Caricatures. Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Harold Ramis. Let's talk about the original team for the real Ghostbusters. And the actors who voiced them. Egon Spangler. This show was years before Animaniacs, but that's the brain. Egon's the brain. From Pinky and the Brain. You gotta listen closely, but it's the brain. Ray Stans. This voice actor's a legend. It's Freddy from Scooby-Doo. I don't care how many voices he does, he'll always be Freddy from Scooby-Doo. They can never take that away from him. He's always going to be Freddy. Oh yeah, he plays the voice of Scooby now too. I forgot about that. Peter Venkman. Does his voice sound familiar? It should because he voices Garfield the Cat in the 80s cartoon. Winston Zettimore. Winston was voiced by Arsenio Hall. I hope I said that right. Well, that was the voice cast for the real Ghostbusters. Well, at least for the first season. Later seasons, they changed it up a bit. They even had Dave Coulier, Joey from Full House, come in and do the voice of Peter Vinkman. 
I was too young to watch this show when it first came out. But I remember my cousin had the toys and I grew up playing with the action figures and, and then I watched the series as I got older. I like how dark the series was and how it talked about vampires, werewolves, ghosts, demons, things like that. Oh yeah, I got an outline. I love outlining with that dark black marker. It just makes things pop more. Just putting the finishing touches on the Echo 1. Moving on. Let's talk about my favorite character. Uh, and some people's least favorite character, Slimer. Now, of course, Slimer was in the movie and... Slimer was also in the cartoon as comedy relief to make kids laugh to do silly little things. As the show went on, Slimer took over the show slowly, but he did take over, and that's what a lot of people think, and that's why they don't always like it. But Slimer was everywhere when I was growing up. He was on t-shirts, he was on toys, lunchboxes, IC joints. I, I even had uh, action figures and toys of him. And I, yes, I know Slimer has a nose. I didn't add the nose in the picture. Yeah, I know it doesn't look exactly like Slimer, but it's because I'm not really looking at a still picture. I'm watching the show as I'm drawing this. Filmation's The Ghostbusters was released on September 8, 1986. Unlike the real Ghostbusters cartoon, this one had three main characters instead of four. Jake Kong, Eddie Spencer, and Tracy the Gorilla. If you can't tell by now, I'm drawing Tracy the Gorilla. Since gorillas are big and round, I used a lot of circles and half circles to make up the shape of Tracy the Gorilla. Of course, you gotta outline it to make it look pretty. I love using black marker, permanent marker to outline my pictures. It gives that popping type of look. 
Because in this cartoon, they did have thick black lines around the characters. Like that. You gotta give Tracy a smile. Tracy's a happy gorilla. Always smiling. Always happy. Tracy the gorilla. Now I'm coloring in Tracy's fur to make it look darker. Just shading it in. Um, overlapping the dark or colors I did earlier to give it that fur type of look. If you can see hiding behind Tracy over there is Eddie Spencer. When you draw Eddie it's best to start off with squares and half circles for the head. Then the shoulders are kind of bulky like a football player's uh Coloring the hat red at first to give it that orangish, darkish, reddish tone that it does in the cartoon. Eddie is like the goofball of the group. He tries to help, but a lot of times messes things up or breaks things. I can definitely relate to that. But he's a true friend. He's with you to the end. Kind of like Chucky. But not in the killer doll sort of way. In the being there for you as a best friend sort of way. Yeah. Jake Kong. Or Jake Kong Jr. His dad and Eddie's dad started the Ghostbusters in the 70s in a live action kids show. Tracy was there too, but Tracy was a silverback gorilla in the live action show. But in the cartoon, Tracy's brown. I don't know. You tell me. I'm not a really big fan of this character right here, Jake Kong. Uh, he doesn't really seem like a, a good guy leader, you know what I'm saying? Like the Ghostbusters, or, I mean the Ghostbusters ain't really good role models either, but if you've never seen the cartoon, you'd have to watch this cartoon to find out what I'm talking about. I love to outline and do thick black lines over the characters to make them stick out more. I know it's a terrible version of his face. I wasn't looking at any pictures or anything. I was watching the cartoon and it was moving so fast. I'm pretty much doing it by my mind's eye. That's a terrible face. At least tell me the hat looks good. More outlining black. Prime Evil is the Ghostbusters biggest villain. But they never really fight him. They're always going up against his lackeys. He doesn't really fight him. He's like Lord Zed and Rita from the Power Rangers. Or the claw from uh, Spectre Gadget. Or any really 80's villain. Main villain. It's a shame more people don't know about this show. And it didn't get the credit it deserved by being the first Ghostbusters animated show. Go Ghostbusters! Which do you think is the better show or have you seen both shows? Comment below.